What is up YouTube? This is Ryan with Sports Card Rush. I'm back with another quick video. Today I have a reveal of an SGC grading company order that I placed here. And uh, a couple of the cards I opened or pulled on the channel or at least showed on the channel. And then there's two of them that I um, pulled off camera that I'm pretty excited about. So SGC grading company, probably most people consider them the third uh, ranked grading company with HGA kind of close, but it's kind of more of a niche thing, so it kind of depends on your perspective on that stuff. Uh, SGC's been around for a long time. I had a video uh, really early in this year, kind of, and with a reveal that I don't, I kind of complained about them because last year they had bragged about how their turn times were so great and that they weren't going to be like PSA, and then they ended up getting bombed. And um, since then, they've raised their prices quite a bit, which has slowed down the, the amount of orders that they've gotten, but have had um, a little bit better quality and a little bit better service um, than I've noticed with the other companies. These are $30 a piece, and I placed the order on, well, they received my order, which is kind of the only way you can go because you never know how long shipping takes and when they open the shipping box, but they received my order on November 3rd and I'm recording this on December 12th. And if you do the math, and it kind of depends on which holidays they worked and didn't work, but it's about 24 business days, which is great. Like I don't think any other company for 30 bucks is doing that. So that's cool. Um, value wise, not anywhere near PSA, but relative to cost, it's pretty close. Like $30 versus $150, it's the minimum right now at PSA. I guess there's kind of opening it up for about 100. So. With lower-ish end cards, it's probably not, I, I don't know, it's, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, you'd have to kind of chart it out depending on the card. But anyways, opening this here. So I have five cards in here. I did pre-open it, but I have not looked at the grades. I don't know what the grades are. It came in a USPS box, and these are wedged in here. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that because card these cases can crack. And I uh, want to make sure I'm showing the back, which I am. And um, talk about each one. So five cards. Let's see if I can do this. All right. Five cards. All right. First one is one that I did not pull on the channel but it was from a Prism Draft Picks Choice box and it was a really bad box until the very last card I hit this Lamella Ball Prism and it is a Tiger Stripe um, and I thought this looked really clean there was like I think there was one little dot or something on the back and then you never know how they kind of grade those kind of things but I thought the centering looked pretty good um, maybe a little bit off up down but not too bad and boom 10 awesome I think they're pretty fair with grades too um, I like that they have the 9.5 grade unlike PSA because there's a lot of cards that like are closer to 10 than nines but don't always get that so really happy with this card awesome looking I think it looks pretty good with the black too because you got the black on black here I'm not sure what the pop is of this but probably pretty low again I think pop counts are kind of silly these days because there's so many different grading companies and stuff it doesn't really mean what it used to but really happy about that all right next one is one that I did not pull on the channel but I showed it this is a lamella ball um, from the cello box and yeah I'm kind of seeing like um, there's a little bit of a line thing going on there so who knows how the um, this will go here. The centering isn't great on the back. I thought the centering was better on the front. Um, but we'll see. Boom! 10. Awesome. Oh my. That is a huge card. And there haven't been a lot of these because I submitted this pretty much right away when I opened that box. But I'm really happy about that too. Um, I think this goes to show you too. I see a lot of these questions and for whatever reason a lot of people don't answer these kind of questions but like people ask about back centering whether it matters or not um, it does I think to some extent but in this case not enough to lower it to a 9.5 I 
I was kind of thinking it would get a 9.5 because of that. I mean, you can clearly see that this is off here to here, but the front is pretty good. And it, sometimes it's a little bit of an illusion with these parallels because you kind of have to go by like this outer outer line because there's, you know, there's different colors and stuff here. So it's kind of, you know, sometimes it looks a little off centered when it's not, but awesome. Really glad about that one. All right, and this is another one that I'm really wondering about. So this has um, really light print lines on it, like really, really light. Like I could only see them at certain angles. And I doubt I will even be able to pick it up on camera, but um, they were definitely there. Uh, I can't remember where. I'd have to look at it closer. So I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious what what that will do to the grade on this one. Again, this is pretty similar, like look wise to this one, um, where it's a little off center on the back, but the front looks pretty good. And that one got a 10 too. Okay, so this is a good, I, I think is a good lesson here. Um, I wish I could pick that up. I'm trying to look at it on my own here. Um, can't quite see it but I know they were there and again maybe it's um, just they didn't pick it up either because they were so faint but it definitely had some really light print lines on it but I'm really excited about that uh, that's a beautiful card and I've said in other videos too I'm super high on him I think he's elite I think he'll be uh, the biggest star from this class uh, 10 years from now Especially if the Timberwolves can get their stuff together someday. Alright, next one is one that I did pull on the channel from uh, one of my select first off the line boxes. This is a LeBron James white and centering a little off left to right. Um, I thought this one looked as clean as any of the cards from that set, but you know, there's the surface is always kind of weird with these. There's always kind of little bumps and then edges too. Um, that bottom corner kind of looks a little funky, which is really hard to see. Um, but there's the front. Boom, 10. Yeah, I thought the, t the front centering looked really good, too. Um, nice, uh, I always look at, like, kind of these points here. You know, it's kind of hard to see. This focus is kind of hard to pick up, but another awesome card. And then the last card is one more of a niche card here so I uh, the more I get into or more I'm seeing like how crazy sports cards are I like to look at some of the um, outside things and look for other types of cards and things and this is 1993 tops uh, Batman the animated series card I opened a box of this that I probably way overpaid but um, paid like 150 bucks for a box of this this is specific card, the Harley Quinn card, is the first card that she's ever been in. Um, so it's, it's kind of a pseudo rookie card. These are super flimsy paper cards or waxy uh, paper cards and the centering is all horrible on all of them. I think I pulled four of these from that box and I don't remember if this is one of the better ones. Um, there's a white dot but that's not on the card. Um, I think it was kind of in the middle. So I'm kind of just gauging what this will be. There aren't a lot of these graded, but there are some SGCs. I haven't seen any PSAs um, sold anytime recently. I know they exist, but can't imagine this is gonna get 10, but it is pretty clean. Nine, I, I'm okay with that. Um, there are some nine sales in the hundreds, uh, like low $100 range. I think they might've been listed for 140, 150 bucks, and then it was a best offer accepted. I think that's a, a fair grade. These are have a little bit of white on the edges and corners and stuff like that. So I'm um, still happy with that though. Uh, I like it. Uh, might continue to submit these maybe one at a time kind of thing, like as I sell them, but uh, might keep one or two. Might see if I can get a higher grade one and keep, keep a higher grade one because these are awesome. Um, it's a really cool set. There's not, not a lot to it. There's one insert and that's about it. Otherwise, it's just base cards. So there's like a Joker and obviously Batman and all the villains and Poison Ivy and Two-Face and all those good dudes. And so these, card looks, these cards look really good too. 
All right, so that's it. Just to recap real quick, nine on that one, and then the rest were tens. Awesome. LeBron, 10. Uh, Anthony Edwards, 10. LaMelo, 10. And LaMelo, Tiger Stripe, 10. Awesome. What do you think? Uh, I think I did as, as well as I could have possibly imagined. I would not have even, um, you know, have chosen that. I would have probably given at least at least the this one a 9.5 probably. But I, I see how it could be a 10. Again, I'm not sure where those print lines are, but I know they were there. Um, should I have sent them to PSA? Maybe. Um, but I don't know. I, I still like it. I like it in the black slab. I think it looks pretty good here. So what do you think? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.